it's time for another project in pajamas. This time I'm uh, this this little mini magnetic palette fell. And look at the damage. So I need to repress these. Uh, oh, this purple is freaking gorgeous too. It's just so unfair. I'll post the color. This is obviously the older makeup forever eyeshadows, the ones in the brown pan, but as far as I'm concerned, they're powders. They're just fine. If there are any issues, that's nothing that nice soak and rubbing alcohol shouldn't take care of. So I'm trying to sort of replace these in the pan. Obviously, it's not going to be a perfect match, but to go okay oh that's just so soft and gorgeous oh see you can see the imprint of the pan on the bottom maybe not do i need to turn the light up perhaps i do the, the camera won't let me or excuse me the phone won't let me expand so this is the view we're gonna get yeah and Normally I don't wear a bathrobe around the house, unless we have guests, but I suppose you're kind of a guest. And, you know, I don't believe in wearing bras to bed either, so for modesty's sake, I will wear the bathrobe. Okay, let's go here. Come on, precious. Oh, look at those beauties. I hate to mash it up more, but it's going to have to be done. Okay, that goes. No, that, is that a purple? Yeah, it's a purple. But fortunately, only two two of these broke that I'm aware of. Although I do see, and I do see a little bit in this one. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, there's a bit in that one. But I think that might have gone down the sink, which is disappointing, but not crushing. That guy. I do have some chunks in here I may be able to salvage. I pulled as much as I could off the counter and the sink, but um, some of it unfortunately went down the drain. So yeah, this is my magnetic palette that's just for my darkest shadows. I generally you, know, you may have seen on my depotting video that I segregated my shadows into my old Mary Kay ones, then my darkest ones, and then I have another palette with mid-tones and highlights together. Oh, crap. Look. The black broke as well. Dang it. Now well, I have a deep suspicion that they that might have wound up down the drain. This one looks okay. That guy's fairly intact. So I guess I'll kind of repress these ones that got a little banged up as well, just to just for that extra little bit of insurance. Okay, here we go. You go there. Now let's see, what do we have in here? I see some bits. They look mostly like the dark purple. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, dark against dark, but they look mostly like the dark purple. So I'm going to try to get them into... Okay, it would help if you actually left the, left the palette. Ugh, really? <laughs> I'm trying to scoop this up off of here and it's just moving around. <laughs> almost wondering if maybe these shadows are actually a little magnetic because I have a magnet glued to the back of this which was fine except one day the door got opened just a little too hard but I've already come up with a plan to deal with oh come on really okay I've already come up with a plan to deal with that so this should not repeat in future all right, seriously? Okay. Clearly this is going to this is going to be an issue. All right. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. 
No, it's not packed in together enough to ah, want to keep as much of the shadow as possible because she's beautiful. I don't dare flip it over to get the color number, but it's a very dark metallic or, or shimmery. I'm not sure what they call which they call it, but it's a makeup forever one. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop messing with that for right now. I'm just going to make myself crazy. So I'm going to start. And for some reason, and I don't know why, I cannot locate my dropper. I have a little dropper that came with... Um, it came with a nail polish thinner, and I cannot find it, and I'm hoping that my husband didn't accidentally throw it away. I mean, it's a little cheapy plastic one. I should be able to pick up another one at some point, but I don't know when or where or how or anything like that, so I'd rather not mess with it. Okay, is that enough liquid, do we think? Yeah, that looks pretty liquidy. Okay. There we go. All right, let me see what I can do here. All right, tissue and a pan of an intact one. I hope my hand's not blocking, sorry. Okay, let's see where we're at here. See, very little issue. So the only one that I've repressed, or the only item that I've repressed that's been a problem was a tart blush. I repressed the Entertain, and I came to regret it because a lot of the color leached out. How? Oh, throw up the photo at the end of the video is actually kind of funny so I've now repurposed it as an eyeshadow and it's beautiful as an eyeshadow it was actually a bit glittery for blush for me I don't mind a little bit of a sheen in a blush but I don't really like very shiny blush it's just not my bag okay let's see here we go come on precious Okay, let me see if I can get some of this out now. Or is this just completely freaking hopeless? And I'm just going to wipe it up and be crushed. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wipe this up, and I'm going to just see if there's anything that can be salvaged from here. Probably not. No, all it's doing is pushing it around and getting it on my tissue. Oh, I'm so mad. Come on, really? Okay. On my finger. <sighs> Okay. Oh, I can see a little teeny bit. Are you able to see a little teeny bit of that other color that broke? But not enough for me to worry about it, really. It'll do. Of course, look at my finger. Oh, this just kills me to look. I mean, color. Hello! So it doesn't... This phone is not even doing it proper justice as far as the absolute stunning beauty of this color. I will probably throw up a photo of a new you know of the new pan of the color so that you can actually see it because then you'll understand why I'm so devastated I can't get every teeny tiny little scrap up. Oh yeah, this is, so it bothered me when I put these pans in because these are just Makeup Forever palettes that are intended for their square or rectangular pans. But so you see there's an edge there between the plastic and the magnet and you can clearly see the difference. So what I did is I just bought some of that very narrow duct, decorative duct tape and just decorated the bottom so it doesn't bother me. I know it seems a little s silly, but I've got to tell you when I see people that, you know, and, and it's ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous and it's just me being ridiculous. But when I see people post 
photos or videos and you see their Z palettes or magnetic palettes or whatever, and they're just completely disorganized, there looks like there's no rhyme or reason, everything's just a mess, it makes me absolutely insane. It's, and I know it has absolutely nothing to do with function or anything. This is just me being ridiculous, and I know I'm ridiculous, so I'm just going to be ridiculous. And that's going to be that. Okay. So I'm going to put these guys back. So then I will can properly plot out the spots for my depotted shadows from the balm. And let's see. Am I going to need another tissue? I might be okay. Let me see. All right. So that's just a chip there. I'm going to, again, drown it. Oh, come on. Let's try actually getting into the pan. Thank you. Okay, let me take it a completely unbroken one. So then I'm just going to again repress the broken one with a clean pan. Hmm, not enough alcohol. Okay. All right. Let that just kind of soak in there for a second. Let me find a clean tissue. Yeah, right, and I just knocked over my brush cup. No biggie. All right, that's just a filth monster. Let me get that out of here. And yes, I actually took the extra precaution of underneath my towel, I, I tore up an Ulta bag and put that underneath just to make absolutely sure that this rubbing alcohol does not ruin my table. Uh... Now, I'll just figure out what color this is later. I think the, uh, the rubbing alcohol is smudging the name written in Sharpie underneath. But you know what? I'll be fine. Okay. Well, this one's silly. <laughs> I can sort it out. I've got, I've got it somewhere. Okay. Still, really? All right. Come on. Stop it. Get down there. You just lie flat and don't annoy me anymore. There. I think that'll be all right. I really kind of want a little bit more rubbing alcohol there, though. Gosh, I'm just such a dirt ball here. Okay. Oh, it's sophisticated. <laughs> My sophistication has cracks in it, clearly. All right. Sophisticated. There I am. I'm terribly sophisticated. Mwah. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move these around. I remember the order of things now. There we go. And then... I think I'm going to put right there. This guy I'm going to put right there. Actually, I don't think I want to mess with that one anymore. I will lose the name. So they're silly. Okay. I have these two left. Serious and seductive. Well, nothing else doing this will also help me keep track of the color names until I can write them down again. Okay, here we go. Let's just repress that. Oh, that is upsetting. I know I lost a decent bit of eyeshadow down the drain. Okay. Ah, uh, you can still kind of see the crack. That's not so bad. I think that'll be all right. Let me do this one. Such a gorgeous color. Just, whoa! It's just flaky from the cracking. So I just want to try to give it a little bit extra reinforcement. And I may go through and smooth it down a little bit more with a finger or something over the next couple of days while it dries. Dang it. Come on. 
Don't deny me. All right. I miss my dropper. This is so much harder without my dropper. All right. You know what? There we go. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> at least I dropped it while it was wet so it didn't crack again. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. My pretty girl there. And you know what? I'm going to toss a little. I'm going to try to do that with this black again, too. And I know everybody and their brother has several black eyeshadows. I think even I have a couple of them. But, and my collection is pretty minimal at this point. It's kind of funny because I was just watching oh, a, vi you know, a video of, I don't need to buy this. I can, I can come up with these colors in my collection. Yeah, I'm not quite so sure that's the case for me yet. Maybe someday, but not yet. Although, hopefully I won't have such an excessive collection of makeup. I would just like to, you know, have what I can use at least until, <laughs> at least until I start getting PR. <laughs> Oh, uh, then, yeah, then it'll be a little bit more like a job and I can, you know, and I'll test and keep what I, keep what I can use and donate what I can't. Okay, so just cleaning it up a little bit. There we go. Where's the, ah, try to keep my supplies clean. Okay, so there we go. This is my palette of dark eyeshadows from The Balm and Makeup Forever. Thanks.